Like a new listing says for just $200,000, you can be a luxury homeowner in Crown Hill, a couple blocks north of Ballard. Sounds great, right? After all, this summer, Seattle homes sold for a median price of 800,000 bucks. But there is a catch. You'd be buying only a quarter of the house. I went to its open house. So if we're really looking at how do we make housing affordable, we had to get creative. Getting creative? I have not seen this before. To get you a piece of the ownership pie for less. I think more windows are better, right? The barrier to entry for a lot of people in this market is just the straight up cost of buying a property. Here's how the listing agent says it'll work. You would technically own this space all by yourself for $200,000. And then just across this hallway, somebody else would own this room for $200,000. You'd have to be okay with sharing the whole downstairs, which comes furnished with the other owner. This is what everyone would have access to as co as co owners. Um, we've got dining space, living space. It's called tenant in common ownership. An investor in this case is also the listing agent's husband it has 50% and then the people who would have been tenants now each own a percentage of the property 25% each in the long run. She says there's the advantage of flexibility over co buying a home with a friend because doing it that way you don't have the ability to buy and sell your interest separate from one another. But like this open house guest says, I think there's a lot of questions that people will have. Another real estate expert not affiliated with the listing. A lot of homework up front. Supports the idea, but says it's critical you ask questions and read the fine print. If there were any conflicts arising out of it, you know, who ultimately will have a deciding factor? So many questions with this one I heard you guys talking about <laughs> earlier. I think yeah, what a lot yeah. of people want to know is, is once you, let's say, decide to sell this house, right? What, what does that do and what percent do I get back or is that not clear? Right, it's all about the resale value, right? When you're right. looking to buy a home. So that was a question I asked Adriano Torre, who you see at the end of that piece. He told me he feels this is probably not a good fit for someone looking to resell their portion quickly because you may have trouble finding a buyer interested in this alternative arrangement. However, he says it will likely be profitable for you in the long term as the property appreciates, especially in that location. And Greg, it's also worth Worth mentioning Joyce as well that um, more than $700 in HOA fees wow. for this per month. Um, but that idea of that is to make sure that the the property is maintained mm -hmm. and cleaned routinely, sure. which they say will go towards maintaining its resale value as well.